Hi, this is Wayne Belial with our executive summary of our expert interview with Jill Conrath, who is best-selling author and super sales coach. Um, this was a long video, excellent video. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, Jill Conrath. Let me give you her bio, and I'm going to have to read it because there's a lot here. Jill Conrath is the author of Snap Selling, Speed Up Sales, and Win Business with Today's Frazzled Customer. It soared to the number one rank for Amazon sales books within hours of its release. Her previous book, Selling to Big Companies, has been on an Amazon Top 25 sales book since 2006. Fortune Magazine selected it as one of its eight all-time must-reads for salespeople. And remember what I told you earlier, every business is a sales business first. And if you're in sales, you need to read both of those books. Let me give you a little bit of her background. She started her sales at Xerox and moved into technology sales and finally ended up selling all kinds of services. So she's done it all and it's been obviously pretty successful. Um, since starting her own firm, Jill has worked with some large clients, IBM, GE, Accenture, Staples, Microsoft, 3M, Hilton, and Medtronic, as well as many growing companies. Her, her advice has been featured on ABC News, Inc., and Entrepreneur, New York Times, Selling Power, Business Journals, and countless other publications. Everywhere you look these days, you see Jill Conrad's name. Really need to thank her because it was nice to get her as an interview here. She's just definitely a superstar. And there's a good reason for it. She's on the front edge of, the front edge of what it takes to be successful today with fresh strategy, strategies for selling to crazy busy buyers. After we interviewed her, she, became, she was named as one of the top three sales thought leaders, one of the top five most influential people in sales management for 2012. And she was inducted into Sales Hall of Fame, sponsored by Top Sales World. Um, some key points from this interview. This interview covered a lot of stuff, so it was hard to come up with 10 key points, but I'll go through this pretty fast. Uh, she wrote her books in a way to explain the new rules of dealing with today's frazzled customers who are simply too busy to see, see salespeople unless the thing that the salesperson is selling helps them solve a critical problem that they're having now. So. You really want to look at this. But it, it, she also goes on to move on to explain why your normal prospecting approach just isn't going to work with the frazzled customer. In fact, you're going to, they're just going to delete you. I mean, as simple as that. She spent some time in this interview, and it's worth looking at the three decisions that every, business, every buyer must make before they buy from you. The first one is they now they have to uh, make a decision to allow you access. They have to make a decision that even lets you sell. Are they even going to talk to you? Time, the concept here is time is their most is a frazzled prospect's most important commodity. So they put in and install barriers to stop almost all sales messages. You really have to earn the right to talk to them. The second decision is the decision to change what they're currently doing because they're busy. The easiest thing to do is the default position, which is what they're doing now. So you have to convince them, and they have to convince themselves that it's really worth the time to make their, the change. And finally, once they've done those two, now you get to what almost the only thing traditional sales things does is trying to convince them who to change to. Um, so, the fourth thing that it's in this article that you need to look at, and it's the, you gotta get the book, you really do, you gotta get the book and you gotta read it, is the explanation of what SNAP sell stands for, which is her acronym of, on the, for the four ways you have to sell to frazzled, crazy frazzled uh, buyers. Um, the letters stand for simplicity. If it's too complicated, then they just don't have the time to deal with it. Invaluable, I know it starts with an I, but she needs something, she needs an acronym. Do you sound like a typical salespeople, or are you going to be an invaluable resource? If you're not an invaluable resource, you won't get in to see the crazy busy uh, prospects. Are you aligned? Align your product and your services with their goals. If you're not, you're not getting in. You need to be relevant to their problems that are at the top of their minds. Means, and she goes into detail of how to do that and what that means. Priority. You need to make your product or service a priority to the prospect. Simple as that. I mean, those four things. If you're not having success getting in to see people, you need to read this book because you need to change the way you're working. Fifth point that I wanted to bring in here, you must change the way you're thinking about your product to what is thinking about what is important to them. And that's key. I mean, you have to come from their angle. Remember, you have to be an invaluable resource. Prospects don't care about your product. They simply don't. They care about how they are going to accomplish their main objective and goal, and the only way you're going to sell to them then is if your product or service helps them. Remember that. Seven, it's vital that you create a clear statement of results that your customer will receive when they work with you. You have to tell them the advantage of working with you, why it's important. Eight, 
when you are leaving a message or literally one sentence away from being deleted or ignored, your first sentence must establish credibility. In your second sentence, you have to pique their curiosity. In your third sentence, you have to ask for uh, what you want in a way that a peer would ask. You don't want to beg, hey, you know, it'd be nice if you would see me. And she goes into that really well. You need to say, hey, you know, I got some information for you. I, you know, yeah. Let's meet. And you've done your job on the first two. It's like, let's meet. Just ask like you would anybody else. Um, she spends quite a bit of time talking about it takes between 8 to 12 contacts in order to get the appointment. And most salespeople give up after two to four because they just assume the prospect, excuse me, that the prospect doesn't want to deal with them. In truth, your prospect's just busy. They don't, they don't remember you. They don't have time. They meant to call you back, more likely than not, and simply forgot. If you've done your job, remember, if you've aligned your needs with them, and like she said. So your sales message, either you didn't do your job, you gave up too early, or your message wasn't on point with what they needed. And finally, one of the, I mean, there's a lot more in this. I'm narrowing it down to 10 things. This is one of the best interviews we've ever done. She talks about our first book, uh, How to Get Business with Large Companies and How to Compete with the Big Companies. And she says you just don't fight them on their home turf. You don't compete against their strengths. See what you can do quicker or better or what they are ignoring because they, it's not profitable for them. It may not be profitable for the big guys, but for you, it be huge. So she talks about how to do that and to sell in the areas that the prospect needs but where the big boys are not meeting their needs because it just isn't profitable. This often means customizing a, a solution for your customers that you can do, but there's absolutely no way that the big guys are willing to do it. This is an interview you need to watch, so I hope I hope this piques your curiosity. Until next time, thank you, and this is Wayne Bilal, and let's make this our most profitable year ever. Thank you.